Hey friends, Jorge Silvestrini here, and some of you may want to start live streaming right now in 2020, COVID-19, to YouTube or any other of our social medias using your DAW, but you're not getting audio. I'm gonna show you how to do it for free right now. I did this video in Spanish. I'm gonna leave a link to that here. Maybe you have a friend that needs it in Spanish. There it is. Um, what we're gonna do is we need one piece of software and it works on Catalina, so we're covered for the new uh, Mac OS. And then OBS Studio, that's free. I'm gonna leave links to everything in the description below. So all you have to do is go click, download, and then follow the steps. You're gonna install some stuff. I've already got it installed, so I'm gonna skip installing for now, but you need to install it if you've never installed it. Uh, this two softwares and I want you to after you've installed them go ahead and restart your computer this video is only for Mac there are a lot of videos already for PC uh, that you can look up so this one I'm only gonna concentrate on doing it for Mac okay so here we go boom I'm already using OBS and as you can see um, here is OBS in front of you. Let me clean up some things out of this. Hold on. Let me hide Pro Tools and let me, this is the tutorial that I was telling you about that I did. Let me clean up some things here and just leave. Okay, there we go. So that's OBS running on Catalina. The current version as of today, I'm recording this on Saturday, uh, April 18th is OBS 25.0.7. And what you want to do is go ahead and download OBS, install OBS. Once you install OBS, first screen that you're going to show up is to something close to this. And what I've done here is I've set up a couple of things into my streaming. On the far left, you're going to see the scenes. And I've, had, I've, I've got three scenes. I'm going to turn the audio only scene and you'll see what happens. You can see nothing in the screen, but you can hear my audio that's coming from the camera. Black or Fondo Negro, which is black background, is the one scene that I've created with this camera on. Hi. Audio and nothing else. Light is a little weird. Oh, there it is. Oh, it is what it is. And then scene is the one that has everything else. What is it that it has? It has audio input capture right here, display capture, which is the screen, video capture, which is me over here. And I'm gonna to talk to this at the very end because I ended up, when I did in Spanish, I ended up buying this plugin for the uh, iPhone. And it's great too. Um, it's sort of a little expensive. It's about 16 bucks to get the app. Anyhow, if when you get here, let's say that nothing of this shows up, and I think that's the case, let's do it from scratch, right? So let's do a uh, YouTube tutorial scene, okay? And I'm gonna create a brand new scene. It has nothing. So sources. I need to add sources. I'm going to add audio input capture. I'm going to say add existing because it's already here. And I'm going to go ahead and add the microphone auxiliary. Okay. And it's going to show up right there. I've lowered the volume so that I can be reaching minus 20 here. And I think that's okay. Um, it might be a little lower. If you want more volume, you just adjust. Next thing that I, let's say I want to show is I want to show my screen. You can show anything that's in here, okay? So you've got a lot of things that you can do. So to show your screen, you gotta go where it says display capture. I'm gonna add the existing, because I already have it, and I'm gonna press okay, voila. Now you can see my screen. And I could resize this if I wanted to and put it in here, and then at my video on the side. 
so many things that you can do. It's the software is very powerful. By the way, it's the same software. If you look over here where it says stop recording, this is the same software that I'm using right now to record this video. So you can record the video and then you can go to file show recordings and it's going to show you all of your recordings. Pretty impressive. Okay, uh, a little bit more of what I've done here is let's say I want to show my pretty face if I may say so plus and then I'm gonna go video capture device and I already have it so I don't have to create a new one video capture okay I am super big I don't want that let's say that I want it like this and I want it to show here and then I want to make this on the side and then maybe I want to do I don't know something like that you get it and I want to show blank screen however you want to do it you create your scene here and you tell it what you want and then you can either call up the scenes like that you can have software that calls your scenes or move around Okay, don't want to take more time. I just wanted to explain how OBS works really quickly. So let's go right now into how are we going to do the actual audio from DAW, from our DAWs. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my regular scene so you guys can see everything. Um, we need to download this little guy over here. I'm going to leave it in the description. Do not worry. This install, I show you audio capture. It is for Mojave and Catalina. This is the magic sauce. With this, it's free. You're going to click here. It's going to download. You're going to double click or click once. You're going to install it. I've already installed it. Okay. Once you install it, license is there. Once you install it, I suggest you go ahead and restart so that everything it's back to where it needs to be normal okay so you've installed that everything's good you've installed OBS by now and what do we do okay let's go ahead and hide Google Chrome let's go ahead and hide this guy too so what do we do we're gonna go into the audio MIDI setup Once we're in audio MIDI setup, don't worry about this. I use some Bluetooth stuff. Let's not worry about that. This is the window that you need to go to, audio devices. If it's not there, go ahead and call it. Show audio devices. Okay? Now, you're going to see that this is probably, I use Pro Tools, so this is going to be there. I'm using, let me, let me go through everything. This is my monitor. This is the camera, which you can, can you? You cannot rename it? No, I cannot rename it now. This is the headphones, MacBook Pro microphone, MacBook Pro speakers. Pro Tools is gonna do this one. I show you it's the one that you just installed. I'm using it at 48. Look at that. You can go to 88, 96, 176, 192. I'm using it at 48, two channels fine. And this is the one that I have already created. I'm gonna create a brand new one right now for us to use. All we need to do is create an audio device. So let's create a multi output device. Okay click there OBS live stream it already has my MacBook Pro speakers fine this is where we're gonna let it know oh I want you to send to the speakers I want you to send to the headphones I want you to send to if I had the Apollo connected I wanted to send to the Apollo and I want to send to I show you I want to send everywhere in this case 
and it's going to use one of them look at this it's going to use one of them as the main and then it's going to apply some drift correction so that everything stays in sync let's call it that way so i want to do it that way done done okay so i have three things now selected this is our audio device we are good to go in here i'm going to go ahead and close you're going to go ahead and close there and then all we're going to do is we're going to go back to obs and inside of obs you see on my scene that i have this audio input capture over here let's go to the scene that i was creating with you guys add audio input capture okay I'm gonna use this is my son right here next to me okay we're gonna add an audio capture and just for kicks I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go into I went to the gear and I'm gonna go into the properties and in here guys you're going to select I show you audio capture not gonna show up let me show you this OBS live stream is not gonna show up here okay I show you capture is the one that you want in here okay let me go to the bigger one here we go and I'll show you in here too properties I show you audio capture that's the one that you guys want in there I'm inside of Pro Tools in this case and I'm gonna go set up playback engine and instead of going through the MacBook Pro speakers you guys need to select and go through OBS live stream which is the one we created so what happens if you select headphones you're gonna be able to hear on headphones you're gonna be able to hear in speakers but not where you need to be sending it and if you're sending it through I show you then you cannot hear in your MacBook or your headphones so that's why we needed to create the audio multiple audio uh, output device so let's select OBS live stream Pro Tools is going to restart itself I'm gonna press OK let it restart don't worry I don't have those plugins and it's fine and then I have some percussion going on and I want to make sure that I don't kill you guys with that so let me turn this down and I can show you what's about to happen is I'm going to play in Pro Tools. Here it is. So you're hearing it now. Check this out. So you're hearing it from my microphone on my MacBook Pro speakers. I'm gonna mute this for a second. So there you have it. Pro Tools is working. Our audio input capture is working. And just to show you guys real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and save that and quit Pro Tools. Let me load really quick live. Ableton Live. Because you can do this anywhere. Any program that you can actually go ahead and make this work from okay perfect and then audio options or preferences and then audio output device same idea go to OBS live stream okay now open something let me open this real quick there we go and let me just send some cool drums your way And that's it.
So that's through my microphone. I'm gonna mute the microphone and then I'll mute the audio input capture. And there we go, there you have it. That was simple. So now everything's working. OBS, any program, actually any program that you want. Now it's also working through OBS to send this out anywhere. Um, tricks, one trick that I found out, I disable it now, maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. Sometimes you're doing a live stream and you wanna go ahead and mute I did it. I muted. it. You want to mute that microphone when you start the playback in your programs. And usually all of our programs and, and our DOS, the space bar starts. So you can go to settings. You can go to hot keys. Go all the way down. Like I told you, there's a lot of stuff here. And then microphone auxiliary. You can go click there, space bar. Click there, space bar. I'm going to press OK. So what's gonna happen now is, as soon as I press spacebar in my DAW, it's going to mute here, it's gonna start the DAW, and it's gonna let the audio pass, and you're not gonna be able to hear me. Let's try that out. Side by side. There we go, side by side. So here we go. I'm gonna press spacebar and listen to drums, and this is gonna mute. As soon as you hit sp spacebar again to stop playback, it's gonna unmute my microphone. So that's kind of cool. If you wanna do that trick, you can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna save out of there. And that's it. This is the end of this tutorial. Now, I promise you one more thing, which is the iOS, right? So let me show you. You can go, it's called, um, OBS camera, OBS camera, right there. It's this app. I'm not gonna lie, it was, or it is, $16. It works phenomenal, okay? And all it does is you connect your iPhone, your cable goes, from um, your USB, connects to the iPhone, and then magically, you tell it to show over here, just like that. You tell it to show, you have to run the app. It's called OBS Camera. You have to run that app, and it's going to it's going to connect, um, and that's that. But that's how it works. Connect it with your cable, and you have another camera, another setup that you can use straight from your iPhone into OBS. So if I had then disconnected, you could be seeing me here, and you could be seeing the keys, the keyboard that I have down here, or anything else. Don't want to make this video longer, so that's it for now. Leave me your comments. Subscribe to the channel. There is a lot of information uh, here. Hope you can use it. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Text me over there. Text me or DM me over there. You can text me. Um, you can also email me. You're going to find all those links in the description. And we can communicate. I'm more than happy to help you get this up and running for all of your videos and live streams. I wanna see them, so tag me on your videos on your YouTube channel so that I can go and check it out and leave my comments as well, okay? Talk to you soon, blessings on you. Have an amazing day, have an amazing time. Stay home, stay safe. We're in this together. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.